Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Nitin Sarma and today in this video we are going to discuss about NPM modules in Node.js. So guys, in this video we will import the NPM modules, then we will use it. So in the, my last video we have already discussed in detail about NPM. That what is NPM, how we can use it and what we can do with it. So guys, if you have not watched my previous video yet, so I will look at you to go there and just watch it. I will provide you link in my current video description box as well. So guys, now let's just start. So first in this video, we will discuss that how we can find any module. And secondly, we will discuss that how we can install that particular module in Node.js. And later on, we will discuss that how we can use it. So guys, we have a very good website. That is the official website of NPM that is npmjs.com. So I have to go there then i have to search the package i want to use it you can see it is showing me the link here so i will provide the value what i want to search so guys today i will tell you about the validator package this is the very much needed package for node.js development guys you can see here you can see how much it is getting downloaded once every week okay so it is showing us all the details which version is currently running what's the unpack size how many files are there it is showing us all the details of package so guys here you can search any particular package whatever you want you can search it and you can check all the details of that particular package it also provide you the command to install that particular package so you can see it is just showing a command here and then it is showing us how we can use it install and use as you can see it is showing us install and uses yes so guys now let's move so i will open my previous project yes it's already open there guys so now i will install the module that is validator i have already found it so i will execute the command which is provided i will press enter so guys, it will take a few seconds and then validator will be installed in, in your node app. Yes, it has been installed. So guys, now we will use it. So firstly guys, I will create a new file in my project. I will create an index.js file here. So guys, just to use any particular package, we have to require it first. And you can see the details in the documentation of this package as well. You can see it is showing us how we can use it. Yes, you can see it is first required the package, then it is used. So guys, we will do the same thing. I will require the package first. That is validator. Then I will require the validator. Yes, I have just acquired it. Now I will use it. So guys, validator provides us lots of methods. Just like you can see here as well. It provides us is email. Yes, you can see is email method and you can find all other methods as well. Yes, you can see is email address is here and you can check all the details about this method. What this method does next is is en and is empty it's a lot of packages is float you can use any one of them so just after the installation you can use all all methods of this particular package we will use it in our program so guys now let's start i will just console the things console.log then i will use validator dot is email is a method we have already checked that check the provided string is a valid email address or not so i will just pass a parameter here that is email i will define email here and i will pass a string as a valid email address actually we can say as a valid format email address so guys what actually does it just return a boolean value to us if it is a valid then it will return us a true and if it's not a valid email address then it will return us a false 
so we'll got the command prompt and we will check it so guys in my previous videos we have already discussed that how we can execute any node program so what we have to do we have to just type node then a space of file name which we are going to run i will press enter so yes you can see it is showing us true it means whatever string i have just provided in email is a valid email address you can see it's a valid formatted email address guys okay so now i will just check it i will just remove the dot from here suppose guys i just over the dot then i will rerun my program once again so it is showing me a false it means it's working fine so you can check very easily that provided a string why user is a valid email address or is an invalid email address it's a very simple thing guys it's a very much needed um, package which are very useful in the future and next thing it provides us lots of uh, methods as well guys so you can see it provides us is imei you can check the provided string is an imei or not is int is provided string is an integer or not you can check lot of things another package it provides us is is mobile phone is mobile phone it provides us yes so you can use it as well so i will just command the things and then i will define another variable that is mobile number is equal to i will provide an string 12345678890 and i will use it console dot log validator dot is mobile phone and then i will pass the parameter which i have already defined yes is mobile phone this also will do the same thing guys actually guys this will also work as same like it will return true if is a valid mobile phone or it will return as a false if it's not a valid mobile phone i will go to the command prompt i will read on my program once again it is showing me as true so it is showing us because guys it is a valid formatted 10 digit num numeric value so that's why it is validating as a mobile phone suppose guys i have just removed the zero and i will push a, a string here then if i will read on my program once again so it will show me a false you can see it is showing me actually guys with this particular method you can provide lot of options as well you can see here you can check the details of this package here there is a npmgs.com then package slash validata so it's a very useful website guys just to use any packages that is provided by the npm you can very easily check that is a number is a md5 is mime type although it's provide us all the things that we can use for the validating our form or data that is entered by the user guys so it's a very much or what this package has done guys for us actually it has just reduced our code when we talk about the other languages just like in PHP or the php and we want to validate any particular string that it is a valid email address or not then we have to do and we have to write almost three to four lines of commands although later on that has also provided us a filter validate email functions as well uh, so but but now initially we were doing with a very tough job by typing the more codes so it provides us a lot of functions so you, we can validate all the data of our form so guys i hope you have understand and we have already completed our agenda of this particular video that we how we can find any module it's a very much important thing guys actually guys you can check complete details here you don't need to uh, memorize everything about the package you just remember the name of package and then what you have to do you have to just search this particular package then you will find all the in send outs of that particular package and you can check from here that how much popular that particular package is and what version is running so guys it's actually it's reduced our code and it's very simple that how we can find and use it and then we have checked that how we can install it there's a very simple command actually it provides a command itself you don't need to remember even command to install you can see here and next thing we have used it so use also is a very simple thing we have to just require it once at the top before the use 
and then we can access all the method of that particular package and method details you can check from the website that is npmjs.org so it's a very simple guys so i hope you have understand that how we can use any npm module in node.js but guys still if you have any problem with any particular package i'm not talking about the validator package only if you have any problem regarding the any packages so you can directly just put it in comment box and i'll get back to you soon as soon as possible so guys let's meet in the next video and we will learn a new thing so guys thank you